Yep, yep. Uh, and welcome to Pokemon Go Podcast. I am the Rocket of Podcasting, Charles McFall. I've adjusted a few of my little settings here and actually sound better in my headphones. Uh, with me this week, special guest, Joseph underscore R. Uh, yeah, yeah. And uh, I visited Mars today, saw a friend. <laughs> so he stood up to show off his Marvin the Martian t-shirt. Where's the kaboom? Where, where's where's the where's a, a show host that can actually do great with this show? I'm just curious. I'm just, am well, I being replaced by Marvin now? Is that what's going on? Well, I- Ibit left, so you know. I'm not sure where that insult's going. You know, but you were sure asking for a good podcast host. I'm just saying, Ibit, I mean, Ibit's quality. Hey. If it's quantity, I don't know if he's quality. No, I love him. Don't even come <laughs> at him. Don't be at, at Coverville. Pokemon go put shots at you. Uh oh. Yes, but no. Uh, we just wanted to listen. That's all. We're starting to. Well, that's it, Joe. We're going to start a beef with Brian Ibbitt because he left. And we're going to get a flame war going on Twitter so we can do all that. Uh, you know what? This Adventures of the Week this week. So I. Uh, Got into a few Judge Drudge matches and caught them. Didn't get any shinies out of it, but that's okay. I did miss a few invites uh, of a few seconds too late, I guess. Uh, I guess we should get a game up. That would be that would be a helpful thing if I'm trying to look at what I did this week. But yet yeah, a number number of of raids I jumped into. How has your adventures been this week? Oh, yes. Uh, so this past week, I did a couple of trades. Um, got myself a lucky Heliolisk. So pretty nice there. Uh, and then a lucky nice. Altara. Um, so I did those trades with, uh, uh, well, one of them was with the, the uh, autistic kid at church. So, got so Phil, got it. <laughs> Phil doesn't go to church, does he? <laughs> I, I mean, I does no he, would he there. know? Would he know if he was there? <laughs> I mean, come on, it's it's Phil. Um, he goes to the market every weekend. I mean, <laughs> he doesn't okay. know where it is. Um, yeah, so I, I got some trades in, um, caught a bunch of stuff, got a Regirock. Uh, actually, I think that's the Regirock you and I did on air last week. Um, and yeah, yeah, I got that shiny Reggie last week on the show. Yeah, that yeah, was really did. cool. Um, and you know, I pined out the crap out of it. I, did, I didn't even look. We were doing the show, we beat it, and like, all right, it's there. Barry, throw. I'm talking to the show, talking to the show, caught it right. And then a minute later, I looked down, like, hey, that's a different color. What's up? <laughs> yeah, I, I also caught a couple of other, uh, other things as well that are I'm looking forward to. We've got some new events going on. Oh, yeah, I was going to look up. <laughs> Charles isn't looking up. <laughs> no. What is oh, you got the Mario Party Superstar. Man, what, what is this, Christmas in, in February? <laughs> Joe went and spent a bunch, of, uh, a bunch of 1% money. He's like, first, first, we have gone from over the last few months, man, I got to find me a new job to now. I do, I do I'm gotta... rolling in it, baby. I'm going to buy all the games. I, I still got to find me a new job. But, yeah, no. Uh, I bought Pokemon Legends Arceus and, uh, after watching Coach Kev stream it. And right? Then, Coach Kev, that thing looked good. Like, like, literally maybe half an hour after I got done watching his stream, uh, I, I ordered both of these Mario Party Superstars and Pokemon Legends Arceus. And, uh, I'm going to play Mario Party Superstars is, is, a, is one of the best ones they put out. Yeah. And uh, I've, I've already told my kids... They're like, Dad, I, I want to watch you play Pokemon Arceus. I want to watch you play Pokemon Arceus. I'm like, okay, here's the deal, kid. I am going to record. I'm going to stream all of my gameplay on it. So if you want to watch it, you better tune in. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Raise your own viewers. Um, at, at I think it's at Coach Kev or uh, twitch.tv slash Coach Kev, right? I think it's it's- uh, Coach Kev, and then there's some numbers on it. Uh, I know uh, I followed him last week. 
Yeah, I followed him. Last week. Show more of my. Why is it not showing it on here? But yeah, I got the notification that he went live um, last night or the night before. Coach and, Kev four one three. There you go. Thank you, Coach Kev four one three. Go follow that channel. Uh, he he's getting up and running. Good heart, fun guy. Um, I heard a lot of 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 connections or um, comparisons rather of Arceus to uh, Breath of the Wild, actually. Yeah, from what I can tell uh, from watching him and from things I've heard, it's a lot more um, open world than previous uh, Pokemon games have been. Uh, although um, a lot of people are saying, uh, don't expect it to be as the map to be nearly as big as Breath of the Wild or um, as dynamic, um, which uh, I'm not surprised in that. But I, I am happy with uh, them taking... Uh, inspiration from Breath of the Wild because that's a fantastic game, a fantastic open world game. So, I mean, you really can't compare anything to Breath of the Wild because it just it, it broke the mold. Honestly, I I do have a lot of high hopes, but I don't know that Breath of the Wild two will even compare. You know, it was such an amazing game. Um, but yeah, my experience is a week besides checking out Coach Kev because really. He deserves your support. Um, is going. He's really kicking off his channel and gonna have fun. Uh, and you know, I, I definitely look forward to to seeing more of him. Oh, and you had the Super Mario Party there. Yeah. Uh, we can, you and I can play that together. Oh, really? It has online play. It has online play. Sweet. So uh, I don't even know if you and I are, are are friends on the Switch. I'm friends with Phil on the I Switch. I don't know if you and I are friends for <laughs> life. I'm just you know, being honest here. Uh, especially after uh, my text from earlier this week. Especially that. And then <laughs> I got replaced. I got podception here a few weeks ago. So um, for uh, just so that they're in on it and because I like rubbing it in your face. The text earlier this week is uh, they shut down the uh, gas station at the corner uh, where the new 7-Eleven is going to go. So they are uh, starting the remodel process for the 7-Eleven. <laughs> you know, it, I mean, it'd just be more reason for me to come up there and tell you I'm five minutes from your house, but I'm not going to come see you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, to be honest, I, technically I'm con I call it connections. I'm connected to a few people on, on my Switch. I am not friends with anybody on my Switch. Uh, I think Phil and I are connected. I'm not saying Phil and I aren't friends, but I typically I'm not playing stuff with people on that. Uh, when my <laughs> kids got into um, Animal Crossing when it came out, they, you know, my daughter really wanted it, and, and we got on that whole bandwagon. And so I, I connected with some people so that um, you know they could come visit me and get extra stuff, and my kids could visit them or whatever. But yeah, I don't, you know, I mean and. and gaming i typically i mean special events i'll play with people but for the most part when i game it's either for me to stream and entertain an audience or it's just to play i don't really like depending on other people for my fun so that being said if we could plan it out uh you know one day you and i could play mario party together in fact if we did it right we, we could, could do double stream we, we could open it up to yeah i would say we could open it up to our patrons and whoever has a switch and mario party could join us playing they could hang out live on chat i mean anybody can hang out live on chat but they, i mean they can have their voice on chat i'm not sure how the audio comes through the game but we could figure that out um and and do that and that'd be a lot of fun a lot of basic i'm looking through my adventures this week a lot of basic stuff that that shiny reggie is really nice uh so it's the first shiny I've gotten in a very long time, I think. We've got an event going on. We'll get to that. Uh, let's see. Where are our hairbrushes? Where is my hairbrush? Where you keep the lotion for your leg that you don't use? <laughs> All right. Oh, wow. Uh, fourth. That should be it. Duly noted. Ah, that says, take me to church. Greetings from Elizabeth. Oh, that's <laughs> that's the gift I sent him. <laughs> uh, where's the sound bite? 
Where is this? Uh, <laughs> Where is my wait. sound bite? Take me to church. Well, brother Dooley, it's the South, and in Georgia, every pokey stop is a church pokey stop. <laughs> I'm just trying to bring the good Lord to your heathen nation of Californication. So, sir, <laughs> you better pray and get right, or I want to send the pig to. T- I just lost it. That was it. But yeah, that was his experience. Was because uh, he got on. I remember he got on right before we finished the show. He's like, "Open my gift." So I opened a gift and sent him a gift. And I actually noticed today, ninety percent of my gifts that I can send are some church mission slash whatever related. <laughs> well, I mean, that's the South. It's, yeah, no, it's exactly <laughs> what it is. It's just the South. It's where all the fucking stops are. Yeah, when I when I go to TK Do or t- to Taekwondo with my kids, uh, it's right next to a church, so I get a bunch of of gifts from there. Yeah, but yeah, you know, and but but he's not noticing the fancy schmancy sticker I gave him, and not just some other crappy piece of Pikachu going. Dah, 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 dah. I don't want that <laughs> no more. I want that sticker to be banned. I do not want to see no more stupid Pikachu screaming "Thank you." <laughs> I've got enough now, of those. Now that's just what I'm going to send you all the time. I mean, it's not that. <laughs> honestly, it's not that people send it to me. I don't notice. It's that when you get stickers with the stuff, it's like there's so many other stickers to be chosen from now. Yet somehow I end up with like 27 of that one. Well, part, collect- part of that's because it's one of the uh, stickers that is actually obtainable from pokey stops instead of events okay so it yeah there's i don't know six or seven that are um that you can call you can always get basically so and that's one of them wow i don't like it yeah as you got it pulled up duly got timber shiny timber and then sure did. Terry, terry terry got a first flood baby yeah Flabebe. and it's a thir- a 13 15 15 flabebe's brand a uh, brand new it just barely came out as part of uh, an event that we're going to discuss later okay okay uh let's see posty one kenobi got some adino shiny i love this shiny 51st birthday show. wait a minute hello robin is not 21 forever I mean, isn't that what hallowed means, Joseph? Is that, you know, you just, you're hallowed. You stay there forever. Why is it, why does it say 51st birthday? <laughs> Apparently, 51st well, birthday. Happy birthday, because that should have happened in the last seven days. So, uh, good luck, old man. I hope you don't die. Uh, Reg- or, <laughs> or woman. Or woman. Or non binary. Or, you know what? It was a or, funny joke. Or sidekick. Sidekick. You, you definitely identify as a sidekick. I get that. <laughs> Reggie <laughs> Robin, or, um, um, going by the proper nomenclature, Posty Wan Kenobi, Shiny Reggie, Shiny Onyx, Shiny Mankey, which is a very cool because it's so different in color. It's very cool. And the Shiny Lit Leo. The Mint Mankey. Uh, King of the Shinies. It says it's been a shiny, which actually I got on one or two raids with him. That's um, no. no- Nolte, yeah. I, I changed nicknames and I forget what I, their real name is. Nolte, I've been a shiny. Yeah, I'm on the channel. That's a lot of shinies. Yeah, 15. So there's a Minin, four Registeel, Glamiao, Barboach, Trico, Growlithe, uh, Magikarp, a. This one's from a trade, Lit Leo. I wonder, now seeing this as a trade, now granted, we don't see a whole lot of lucky shinies out of Nolte, but. I wonder if Nulti is multi-accounting and trading the shinies from his secondary account to his main account. That would be smart. <laughs> uh, shiny Esper, a shiny um, cast form, Voltorb, and I can't tell, but I'm pretty sure, based on the dangly bits, it's a tentacle. Yeah, it's hidden behind the button, but yeah. So there you go. Anything you wanted to add to your experiences, Joseph? Uh, no, but uh, we should probably figure out a uh, 
a topic, uh, a for, topic next for next week since we forgot one this uh, this week we totally blew through i don't know how we got distracted but i was actually doing the show on saturday i think it was again to put together like, oh hey. snap all right i'll add something to my experience of the week uh you got a wild uh, oh sorry. <laughs> shiny oddish gotcha but yeah, I was putting the show together I was like, hey i forget what we were going to talk about you know what's the question and then he goes yeah we didn't have one I'm like oh well, fair enough there a wild nicole has appeared mayor oh. squish squishy squishy i squish you uh, <laughs> I, i'm gonna go to anchor because i did ask a question i'm just gonna see if anybody answered it and it was basically what is what's the question that you want answered or what's the point of discussion that you would like to discuss since we didn't have one mm, you know, so maybe uh, we'll, maybe one of yours will be chosen for this next week let's see oh right yeah now. um so what question do you have for discussion was what i put Unica X F twenty seven Nixon B twenty seven O sixty eight says, "Should Shadow Mewtwo be shiny?" So there's Should one. Should Shadow Mewtwo be shiny? Okay. All right. So that's one. Then this is a five parter. So get ready to tonight. <laughs> a five parter. Okay. All right. Zachman says one. Why is Charles saying I'm slurping on a slushy? <laughs> because I got it wrong. Because this is slurpy. You're hustling down. Clearly, a slurpy. He's sl- stolen. He's me. slushing on a slurpy. There you go. <laughs> Number two. I wrote a sketch. Number two. He put a frowny face. Number two. When will I reach level 50? <laughs> you know what? Let's make that. That's a great discussion point. When will, uh, when will when he will, or when will well, Charles? You. And when will that? We'll quote fingers you. When will you reach level 50? And everybody can throw in on that, right? On their own progressive journey. And you can bet on when I, Charles McFall, will reach level 50. <laughs> they're going to they're gonna sun, sunset the game before you reach 50. Uh, you know what, Joe? Save it for the discussion night. <laughs> Number three, why does XP take so long to get? Ugh. That's that's how it's written. Uh, number four, when will I hatch a second at you? And number five, when will Uncle Hakey notice me some <laughs> All right, so we got um, should Shadow Mewtwo be shiny? These are great discussions. We can use them for the next couple episodes. Uh, when will Shadow Mewtwo be shiny? When will we you know somebody when i the universal i reach level 50 and why does xp take so long to get and then we could talk about how hard it is to get some of these specials like at you all right you should uh, uh, when will i hatch a um you should copy paste purpose. those into discord i guess it could in, get into that. our personal discord so that we've got them oh okay our, right. our dm Oh, Joe, trying to, trying to get me to Evie into his DMs. I don't like it. I don't like it. Uh, so that those are the Zachman ones. And then this one, I'm going to have to attribute it because it's a new listener. It's probably actually it's probably somebody who got on Spotify just answered a question, possibly. Uh, and that that's so that last one is from Unalagig. It's like Mixoplixic, but worse. So I've pinned those. So if you're on Spotify, if that's how you listen to the podcast, then you can actually go to episode 282. Yeah, 282. People still play Ingress. <laughs> and um, it's pinned there. You can see the answers. You can. I think you can answer these at any time. I, I guess I should start going back through some of the episodes. Maybe see somebody put on your know, answers after the fact, like after we read it the next week. Um that's a lot of work probably not gonna happen but there you go so which one do you want to tackle first joe for next week um let's go ahead and start with the should should shadow mew to have its shiny available uh <laughs> duly i come back to the twitch chat and now we're talking about i'm sure at that moment we're talking about um uh uh when will i hit level 50 he says will pokemon uh go still be in existence by then <laughs> uh and thank you Dooley, for giving us up to mirror squish that is very awesome of you 
Uh, all right. So we're going to do the shadow. Should shadow Mewtwo be shiny? So that'll be the question that we pick up next week for discussion. And we definitely want to hear all of your input on it. You don't have to be on Spotify. I mean, if you're like Dooley and you're wrong and you think Spotify is trash, and you know, I get it. You're not going to be on there. But, you know, it's Californication. What do you want? Uh, but you can get on Spotify and answer it. You can get on reddit.com slash r slash Pokemon Go podcast and answer. Or if you just listen to this and you want to at Pokemon Go pod, good. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll check it you know, there. You just do a question, you know, hmm, discussion. Just put the word discussion, colon, and then put your answer because Twitter limits your characters. So, you know, that way we know you're answering the discussion should Shadow Mewtwo be shiny. That's right. Uh, Twitter will limit how your character can grow. <laughs> that, that's, that's, this is why you make such a great special guest, Joe. You know, you uh, you bring that deepness to the show. That's because, <laughs> Emphasis on the that special? Aspect. Is that what you're trying to tell me? I mean, <laughs> hey, it'd be nice to see him again. Come back after a break. We'll, we'll see you then. Uh, civilian says i host my own music slash podcast streaming service that is interesting mm. I'd, I'd like to know more about that i actually i like spotify for my music um it was perfect for the karaoke stuff i was doing mm, and i prefer it over apple music. yeah um you know it was just it, it really really worked well and at the time i had used a service that got bought out by pandora is who bought i forget what the service was called like and i didn't really like how pandora worked um and when i say you know for for karaoke i mean like the in-between music uh oh yeah twitch sings was great Dooley. that was a fun thing anyway all right uh here we go i'm gonna put the marker back in after we do this what color is it what the marker yeah it smells like grape you know that would be a really cool unlockable in rcs right that's the newest game mm-hmm. is after you do so many achievements or you find so many little discs in the game or whatever you can actually unlock cover songs to play instead <laughs> of the the regular music right because that's what that is that's that's from the anime i know you can un- you should be able to unlock classic music from red and blue if you want it right you should be able to unlock some of the anime songs that are catchy and maybe even some some cover songs like they could work with artists like jonathan there and and uh our violin lady that you like someone Lindsay sterling you know you could you could you could get people to do i think that'd be fun there was a game i could not even tell you what the game was i don't remember but the coolest thing about it in the early 90s late 90s late 90s was that is a pc game and it was the first game i ever played that let me turn off the end game music and click use my music and it would find i could tell it here's a library of music and as i'm playing the game it would just cycle through the mp3s and play all my music while I'm playing the game. Yeah, I had a, a football game that I could do that with on the Xbox. Yeah, X, yeah, yeah. Xbox did dabble on that for a while. A bunch of games started getting on board there. So I mean, I just think it, it would add to my adventures. I'm trying to sneak up on some Pokemon to hear, you know, to hear that. You're like, <laughs> yeah, there. You know, do the whole Star Lord. You know, your character puts on the headphones and you just hear it start playing. Ah, it'd be so much fun. So we have a few headlines. The Pokemon Go Championship Series. Uh, this is the one that uh, we knew we we're never going to get invited to <laughs> or earn our way into, right? This is the actual World Series of Pokemon Go. The World Series of Pokemon Go. Well, I mean, let's face it. You and I, we don't do nearly, nearly enough uh, uh, PvP to get to get into this to qualify so i know right <laughs> uh but yeah so uh <laughs> really though they should hire us to be color commentary yes yes they should pokemon company come on mr hanky we we know you've got the connection talk talk him into it 
Uncle Hanky, come on, man. Uh, but yeah, no, it, it, I, I, I definitely wouldn't want to play because, like you said, I'm not into PvP. I'd be taking somebody else's spot, blah, blah, blah. You know, uh, not that we're celebrities enough to even get that level, but you know, I don't even want to be invited. But, hey, come come play. No, no, but let me sit in a microphone and entertain people for hours because you know that's what it's going to take. It's going to take hours. You know, do the announcements. Come on. That's what I'm good at. Joe can come along, too. He's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, all right, right. So what we... I, I'd be treated as a Pokédex. Hey, do this random trivia. Hey, you. Do yeah. This oh no, trivia. no, yeah, yeah. I mean, Joe, be like, <laughs> oh, man. it was a uh, um, Major League Baseball. I think was the movie where it had the comedian doing the announcing, and he had a guy, a partner. He just never talked. The partner never said anything. It was hilarious. Uh, not that I want you to do that. It was just it reminded me of the bit. But yeah, you'd ask be like, Joe, Joe. Uh, the yellow one tried to take down the purple one. You're like, that's Pikachu and Grimace. Come on, man. Yeah. It'd be all right. What do we need to know about the, the Pokemon Go Championship Series? Uh, so they've got a bunch of links in here. Uh, one of the big things that you need to know is that you need a Pokemon Trainer Club account. Uh, that is one. Of, so... To register for the Pokemon Go Championship Series events, all competitors will need to link their Pokemon Go account to a Pokemon Trainer Club account, uh, have a Play Pokemon Player ID, and be opted into the Play Terms of Use. Uh, and they've got links for all three of those uh, here on, on the, the webpage. Um, I'm getting commented on my, my speaking habits. Um and so they you know that, that that microphone moves. You don't actually have to sit up. Mind your business. Um, <laughs> uh, for the podcast, I muted you. I have no idea what you said, even though the show. <laughs> wow. Uh, and so uh, then there there are going to be um, regionals and international championships, um, and if you get first place in a regional championship. You get an invite to Worlds, and you get uh, your travel. It says travel award. I'm assuming that's travel expenses paid for. Um, Probably, or at least an amount. Yep. You know, where they don't guarantee they'll pay for everything, but at least pay you X amount. And then help. at regionals, if you get um, second place, you get a Worlds invite. Uh, okay. And then if uh, you get – so and then third and fourth get nothing for regional placement. For the international uh, placements, the international championships, first place gets a world. The first and second place both get worlds invites and travel, uh, the travel award, and then uh, third and fourth place get wor the worlds invite only. Uh, and then they've got a bunch of different dates here um, for uh, various regions. So they've got U.S. and Canada. They've got European ones. Uh, under Latin America, it just says coming soon. Oh. I don't understand the differentiations. What's the differentiation between regional and international? Like their actual delineation between the two. Uh, so if I'm not Everything mistaken, at the bottom says regionals. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, all of these are regionals. They haven't set uh, or they haven't stated where the international platform is going to be, where the international. Uh, but well, but it's not like regional goes to international and international goes to world. It's regional goes to world. And international goes to world, but more places go from international. Well, they've got a couple of links here for the regional and the international championships. Uh, let's see if we can't take a look. So, it, it, uh, on these, on the different ones, it provides some um, of the payouts because. Uh, oh wait, international is literally the Pokemon championships for TCG and video game. So they're, I guess they're they're putting in a qualifier for Pokemon Go as well. Yeah, yeah. In the 2022 season, well, all, so the I must read this off that I clicked on the link. The Pokemon International Championships, the Pokemon International Championships, draw Pokemon players from all around the globe during the championship se series season. These amazing events will feature high championship point payouts for TCG and VG, you know, the card game and video game players, or trading, you know, trading card game and video game players. And in the 2022 season, we'll also host World Championship Qualifier events for both Pokemon Go and Pokemon Tournament DX. 
So it's being added. So that's the the international is already the thing that's been going on for years for the trading card game and for the video games. Pokemon Go is just tagging in, and the regionals are only for Pokemon Go. And that seems to be the di- differentiation. Um, and again, Latin America hasn't been announced yet. Oceania has not been announced. Europe International Championships is April 22nd, 24th. And North American International Championships is June 24th and 26th. Um, and it does say travel award amounts. Well, this is just for the actual. They, they stuff, probably but. put a cap on how much the travel award is. Like they'll pay, they'll pay uh, your way up to x amount yeah like in the region I mean, it's a lot if you're out of the region now this is not necessarily for the pokemon go world event but just as a a good kind of comparison for the travel of the the championships for this uh out of region it says thirty five hundred dollars and in region is two thousand and your know, region is defined by however they design it define it so uh yeah no i mean it's not it's not bad money that's for sure so that that is a differentiation. So if you can find you an international championship to get to, it's going to be harder. There won't be as many, but you'll actually could get up to fourth place and be invited to Worlds, or you can go to the regional championships, which there are a lot more of, and you have to get first or second to get the invite. Yep. Uh, North America international championships is in Columbus, Ohio. You got Milwaukee, Wisconsin, you got one. You've got Vancouver, British Can- uh, Canada, uh, British Canada. I don't know. What am I trying to say? Not B- <laughs> BC, it's not British Canada. It's, um, <laughs> I totally missed it. <laughs> it's not where Nolte lives. So don't uh, Indianapolis, Indiana is the other one. So still not like it's in our backyard or anything, but it's still doable. So BC but, is British Columbia. Yeah, that's what you said. Okay. Uh, Perth and Melbourne both have events coming up in May and June. And uh, <clears throat> let's see. We got Frankfurter, Frankfurter Kali, man. I'm off my game tonight. Liverpool, United Kingdom, Frankfurt, Germany, uh, Lille, France, and Bremen, Germany. So Mayor Squish has got two shots at this. Mayor Squish can get to Frankfurt or Bremen fairly easily, I would think. You know, go represent the show. Just saying. <laughs> yeah, there's always that uh <clears throat> all right so uh, you and i aren't going but that's i, I think it's very interesting i definitely want to see how it plays out and how it works works out <laughs> mayor squish nope uh Dooley in the chat is talking about um he's gone to regionals in ohio in the past this is uh years ago and then uh went to pokemon worlds in anaheim uh back in 2017 and just it seems like he just loved those events so yeah. Well, good. I mean, I- we go to Dragon Con, so I mean, it's similar, just very Pokemon focused. It, I would assume, I, it's not going to have the 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 broad um, appeal of a Dragon Con, but I'm sure. I bet it's a ton of fun. I bet it is. I really, I would. I would love to be invited to any of these regionals to do color commentary for you know, us when i say i mean the show you and me together uh be invited to go and i think that'd be a lot of fun um to do that uh for them so uh all right osm spawn update what does osm stand for joe uh open street map okay so hit us with the teal deer here all right so this was posted by frogo 14 uh, and basically, there is an issue with OSM, namely uh, that it hasn't been really updated in the past three years. Uh, and so, uh, one of the big theme of issues with um, OSM, it, it is an open source uh, street map, so... Uh, anyone can go in there and update okay this is a park this is um story of a girl yeah Yeah. and so basically you can you can delineate different areas and actually um one of my coworkers years back um changed some of the osm settings uh for where our work was because there was a little um 
there's a little park next to our work and it wasn't oh yeah it you wasn't mentioned a water feature and whatnot yeah and it wasn't designated as a park uh and the reason why that matters uh in pokemon go is if it's a park designated as a park in osm then that gym could be become an an ex raid eligible gym and it, it did sure. end up becoming an ex raid eligible gym i mean we haven't had ex raids for two and a half years three years now because of covid but um, hopefully uh, those start up again by the end of the year. That would be awesome. We'll that, see. that would be nice. Yeah. So it'll be interesting to see how Niantic handles remote raids relative to um, to EX raids. It would be awesome. I mean, this is just a random tangent because it has nothing to do with the OSM spawn update. But it would be awesome if, in the future, all EX raids, you could just remote into them, period. Uh, especially You've earned you earn the invite, right? Exactly. Yeah. Well, and there's issues of if you're traveling, yeah, you're not going to be able to go back to that location for an EX raid, you know, if it's halfway right. across the country or something like that. Uh, so, yeah, in the future, I would love to see all of them be automatic uh, remo uh, remote raids and you have an automatic invite that shows up for the remote raid. Uh, and you still have at to the, show up at that time. At, at the time slot, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Uh, but anyway, uh, so it's been roughly three years since they've had um, an, an update to the OSM uh, street map. So roughly uh, Ooh, fe February, long. March 2019. That's a long time. Well, especially since... The game, our, this game has been around for over five and a half years now. For three years, it hasn't been updated. Mm. That's over half the life of the game so far. And yeah. so, uh, now, what th this doesn't relate specifically to um, spawn points. It's just spawn designations. Uh, so, it, it can manipulate... Um, what pops up. So if something is um, listed as a park versus listed as a street versus listed as water versus, you know, different things. Uh, so uh, it can manipulate what uh, spawns in the game. Cause when you're not, when you're near water features uh, like a stream or a lake or the ocean, you're going to more frequently get water Pokemon and things like that. I don't know all the different um, designations that manipulate the spawning algorithm. Um, but yeah, uh, they're with construction and all kinds of other stuff. These tags can definitely change. And, uh, so I, I would love to see this updated more frequently. So, yeah, I honestly, it does bug me when a company, essentially cheats out and doesn't want to get the Google API. Um, and a real, real quick note, uh, first time chat from viewer, Ryan, uh, deuce. G good, good job. GJ there. <laughs> Hello, Ryan. How are you? Um, I actually use a piece of software in my work that they didn't use OSM. They used another map box or something else like that. And it just won't google well, i'm sorry geolocate <clears throat> on certain addresses and so i had to like take the pen and move it then put in instructions for my crew yeah no you can't go through the ditch in their backyard to get to their house be a human being go around the corner and come into their driveway thanks you know um civilian says osm is better than google okay you know i'm just used to google being the standard and my i don't have anything against it but the fact that it hasn't been updated in three years now joe when you say OSM, are you talking about Niantic updating spawns and, and regulations in the game in accordance to OSM in the map? Um, yes. So if I'm not mistaken, um, OSM itself has updated and can, oh no, sorry. OSM itself is the one that is not updating because OSM still has construction tags on other things. So even though it's supposed to be user submitted and real and semi real time ish. Uh, apparently they're not processing the, uh, the changes that are being submitted. Usually they do that on an annual basis and they haven't been. 
Then as, as civilian says, it is on both. Uh, okay. It is my has to pull the update from OSM. Okay. All right. But for the first time in three years, we're getting an update. Is basically what you're saying. No. No. All right, till dear. I'm just gonna read it. OSM <laughs> small updates were irregular and performed every year. It seems reasonable that this should still be the case. For some reason, I take is not performing for almost three years, being some places marked as unsafe and now safe. Okay. Uh oh, so it's really just uh so now hey, you're not pulling the new You data. need to see this. I gotcha. So all right. Well, get your stuff together, Niantic. I mean, it's it's almost like oh, we gave you party hats. Are you not entertained? Well, clearly we need a new costume for a champ where he's wielding four swords. So, okay, that'd be a whole costume. <laughs> we don't get those at all hardly. Gla- like, Gladiator, like, Machamp. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Warning, Pokemon caught without a location. Do not give XL candy with trading. Uh, is that a bug that they don't have? Not not that they don't give XL, but the, the location. How do you not have a caught location? Uh, so I there's some locations or some places where I, I go where it really doesn't have an exact location for whatever reason. Um, a lot of my Pokemon that I caught at uh, the beach here, let's see if I can find one. Uh, uh, I'll read this a little quick, Bump. These Pokemon were typically found in research breakthroughs around May slash June 2018. They did not have a location recorded. So I guess if you're still holding them, uh, when traded, they'll give plus one candy and zero XL. Yeah. So don't trade the ones that don't have a locator beacon on their butt. But yeah. Yeah, most of the ones that I used to catch at the, at the beach wouldn't have, they would just say North Carolina, and that's all it would say. So I guess it hmm. technically maybe had a, I haven't tried trading them, but maybe they technically do have a location. But yeah, so if there, if there's no location on it, it's not worth trading. Just wait for an event like is currently going on uh, where you get three times transfer candy and say, peace out. Bye. Yeah, uh, well, I mean, I don't want, I don't care about my watch. My watch is trying to update while I'm in the middle of the show right now. I don't even have it with me. It's upstairs on the charger. Anyway. Bye, Flo, baby. Um, yeah. <laughs> Bye, Flo, baby. <laughs> uh, dang it, Joe. You made me forget what to say. Uh, so Valentine's Day event. The Flo, baby is here. <coughs> what the heck is a Flo, baby? <laughs> <laughs> a I know we're gonna get a random, a not so random trivia on Flabebe today. <laughs> but I'm waiting for the sequel, Joe. I don't care about Flabebe. I just want to see Flabebe's kids. Somebody out there is screaming with laughter. Didn't see that coming. Joe doesn't get it, but that's okay. Somebody gets that joke. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, <laughs> and the internet's like literally no one gets that. Uh, Mayor Squish she's like, "Don't you dare!" So, I'm sorry, <laughs> Flabebe is asking for it with a name like so, Flabebe. So uh, there are there are people that really like Flabebe because Flabebe is part of the storyline of the XY games. So uh, you may yeah. you may have just offended so many people with your disregard <laughs> of Flabebe. Yeah, all ten million people that tune in every week. You know, a few of them might get a hand but hey. heard about that. Uh I mean it looks cool. Uh, F- right. Flower, Flower Crown uh, Flow Baby. <laughs> Flower Crown Flow Baby, that's just be redundant. I mean it's more of a flower crown right there. Flo Flo Baby oh. Crown Evie. That's uh I'll stop it. <laughs> um, so it looks like a little bug that holds on to the flower. It's not actually that- attached the flower in the in the flow baby form because floette is definitively a little alien bug type creature holding the flower lynn Florgus is um mama saw and is the flower and bug combined it looks like all right <laughs> Carol, are we talking about something here oh the, the flavor baby debut uh yeah 
Flabebe oh, oh, is oh. here. Let's uh let look um there are they doing it again, Joe? But Joe, you don't need map updates because you have different colored flowers and regions, man. You can get the red. That's right. Europe, in Africa, the, the regional the flabebes. Blue. Yeah, you can get the blue in the Asia Pacific region, and in the Americas, we get yellow because nobody likes instinct. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, we get it. Now, available <laughs> globally, if you're lucky, is a white version flower and a golden version flower, like brownish or, gold. Orange. Or, orange. It specifically yeah. says in the announcement that it's orange. There's no announcement. I'm looking at a graphic, man. Click on the next link in the show notes. notes. Stupid <laughs> announcement. <laughs> Valentine's Day event for Big Bay debut is exactly what i'm looking at you are the information guy you're supposed to be telling me about the announcement i do the jokes come on now get it together joe the joke god of podcasting barry barry come on man fly to atlanta next week do the show with me come on man lighten yeah it's killing me joe killing me joe hey you got the pictures mounted all is forgiven (laughs) Did you just barely realize that? <laughs> Take me to church. My brother Joseph Hart, you have been welcomed back into the flock. All is forgiven. You've got the Archinaceuses up on the walls, this is, and it looks so beautiful, this is. You are forgiven, my friend. Take me to church. What am I going to do with you? So tell me about Flabebe and Flabebe's kids. I'll tell you more about Flabebe later during the the uh, obvious right. trivia. All right, so you're not even going to read the announcement? Come on. Come on, Joe. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, so Flabebe is out. Like you said, there's the regionals and the uh, other two oddballs that they're just like, hey, let's make them global, but kind of rare because there's not enough regions and there's too many Flabebe's. The babies, The babies are attacking. <laughs> <laughs> what's with the babies oh yeah. um there is a collection day challenge uh you can complete it to get some more frillish frilly frilly frillish uh there's gonna be special attacks for Gallade and guard of war uh they can both learn synchronoise uh during this not synchronize synchronoise i i wasn't just sounding weird um you know. i mean i am weird but you know it's okay normal's overrated and anyone that claims to be normal they really aren't um <laughs> fur frau is back uh so you can catch the poodle and uh you can yeah i just saw one uh in, in the wild here a minute ago give him all it. kinds of haircuts because that's a thing that's the thing that tickles some fancies uh so the first evolution is 25 candies the second evolution is 100 candies after you earn 20 hearts with it as your buddy okay uh so i guess it's a I'll, i will find out later but since it's the valentine's day event it's got to be a love pokemon and if you don't show it some love and give it the heart candy to give it diabetes then it won't change into florgus well, it is the flow, baby. Uh, and part of this event, they're putting new stickers, more avatar items, and bundles, and a oh, gold door. Scroll down, though. Scroll down. It gets better. It gets better. <laughs> it gets better. What am I scrolling? What am I supposed to be looking at? The new fur No. <laughs> With the new the- fur <laughs> It's got heart trim. <laughs> you can do another haircut to your doggy dog. Heart trim fur fro. So select uh, fur fro, which is how I'm saying it, in your Pokemon storage, and then tap the change form button to bring up a menu that lists available trims. Uh, it'll cost you 25 fur fro candy and 10,000 Stardust. Yeah, since that's one, what I want to spend my Stardust on. Psh. I need, I think I need a Gallade. I see. So there's special attacks coming. Evolve Krilla during the event to get a Gallade or Gardevoir that knows charge attack, like you said. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Um, I think I only have Gardevoir. I don't think I've ever 
evolved into Gallade yet, and that's going to be on the back of my mind to to get knocked out. Yes. Um, uh, I'm trying to remember, remember what Why the... is also men in a Valentine's thing? Is that because they're 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 a, they're a pair, I guess. They're a pair, yeah. <laughs> a pair of weirdos. Um you get those shiny chancy shiny love this. Woo bat, is it because it has a heart on its nose? Maybe. If I were getting woo bat. All right, course, so obedience. Curlia, uh the male one that I've got can evolve into a Glade or a Gardevoir. And I think a female one can only evolve into a Gardevoir, if I'm remembering That's correctly. not very progressive of you, Niantic. Well, I mean, they're not the ones that set that up. That was the Pokemon company. Oh, but it gets better, buddy. It gets better, buddy. You can get, and, yo, know, hold hold, hold your, get your anxiety pills, Mare Squish. Your heart's about to go flutter. I don't want to overwork you right now. I don't want you to, to, I know you're probably sketching and drawing and do the awesome stuff that you do on Doodle Crew, on twitch.tv slash Doodle Crew. Uh, but, you know, I don't want you to mess up your pictures. Put your pencil down. <laughs> take your take your Xanax. Are you ready? Because you can get for baby hairpins, shirts, and shorts. And actually, not that I've been on my avatar, but if you like for baby, those shorts are your jam because they are very graphic and they look very, very uh, cartoony and colorful. Like, I mean, the gra- you can see for baby's graphic on the shorts is what I'm saying, as opposed to the shirt where it has from a distance just a little flower. Uh, but yeah, there you go. And of course, the stickers i am i joe if i can do it i'm gonna find a fur frow heart sticker and that's all i'm sending to you this month is that <laughs> you're gonna be my valentine yeah oh look at you putting on your little f- i'm look, not buying it <laughs> looks like you got a bug in your hair I'm man showing it and mm-hmm. why can't we choose the different colors Huh, Niantic? Huh? Why has it got to be the red one? Ooh, I what wonder. What if I wanted uh, the orange one or the blue one or the yellow one? Or the, the yellow one? Or yeah. the white one? Yeah, not in February, man. Don't go there. Come on. Be, be sensitive. Why isn't there a pink one? That's a good question, actually. Why isn't there a pink one? Oh, uh, man. <laughs> All right. Coach oh. Kev, click it. Buy it. I dare you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I coach Kev at Coach Kev four and three on Twitch. Uh, really check it out; it's a lot of fun. Uh, I definitely plan on on tuning in more and and uh, hanging out more. Uh, that's everything there. We do. <coughs> wow, I just died. <laughs> uh, my next week, Funky Comadina is going to come visit, and we'll do our annual Funky Comadina show. Uh, all right, let me hit refresh on this. We have an anonymous speak pipe the last time we got one of these two little girls screamed in our ear so <laughs> all right i'm i'm ready to crank your audio yeah, down I'm ready to but, you know, all right here, here we go speak pipe <laughs> oh zach man <laughs> <laughs> what is you <laughs> oh rock god of podcasting do you know the muffin man <laughs> I know the Zach man. Uh, Every drink is a Slurpee. You. <laughs> you. Uh, <laughs> I hate you so much right now. <laughs> I know that's a slurp right there. I oh my goodness, the trolling, the trolling that is coming my way right now between Joe and and all of you. <laughs> oh my goodness oh that that hurts so mm. hey there this is cheeky nashville and i got a question for joe what time is it brother it is time for charles called it <laughs> not so random trivia 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 trivia, trivia. <laughs> I mean, I think it, it went five years in, and then we figured out that when it's a new Pokemon, we're going to talk about it. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, it's relative to uh, our current show. Uh, so, Flabebe 
like we said before, evolves into Floet and then into Florgis. Uh, they are, uh, well, Flabebe and Floet are the uh, single bloom Pokemon. Florgis is the garden Pokemon. So she blooms more than once, I guess. Uh, they can they can only be female. The baby can only be female. That's not very progressive of you, Pokemon. <laughs> Man, they're they're so so sexist with this one Pokemon. Holy cow! I know we we're talking about Gardevoir before. Never mind. <laughs> Still, uh, Flabebe, Pokedex entry says it draws out and controls the hidden power of flowers. The flower Fabebe holds is most likely part of its body. So I'm looking at those graphics. I call shenanigans. Shenan it says most likely. Mm, then why does it change positions for Floette, who's clearly holding it? Because it evolves. So, Joe, when you grew up from a kid and now you're an adult, are you carrying your leg around separately from you? No. No, you're not. That's not. <laughs> they're clearly floating on the stem and holding on for dear life because they're terrified that they're going to die in this situation. Well, clearly, far f by this logic, far-fetched leak is part of its body. <laughs> yeah, by the logic, that is possibly a plan. <laughs> exactly. Thank you for making my case. Carry on. You're welcome. <laughs> I figured out how to get me shut up. <laughs> just, just wait till you get slapped by a by a flower, by a leak. Oh man, uh, yeah. So, uh, I don't know if I want to go into spoilers or not, but maybe I will. But Pokemon X and Y uh, feature uh, Flabebe. Uh, if I if I'm remembering correctly, it's been a hot minute since I played X uh, and, and Y, the Y version. Um, but um, it is uh, the Pokemon of the ages. Like, there's a, there's a whole storyline about this guy that's been around forever. And Flabebe was his, his Pokemon. Um, and, yeah. I don't just play the game. It's pretty, it's it's an all right storyline. <laughs> it's there. It's all right. <laughs> that's that's a good <laughs> endorsement. No, I, I I really liked the music in uh in X and Y. Uh, I really liked the game. I liked I, it. Was fun. It was enjoyable, and that's what games should be. They should be enjoyable. Uh, Flabebe is based off of a fairy or a nymph. Sure, I get that. The uh, name Flabebe is a combination of flower and bebe. It's a baby flower. You don't say. I do. I do. I say. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Floet, its Pokedex entry says, it flutters around fields of flowers and cares for flowers that are starting to wilt. It draws out the power of flowers to battle. Power flower. They're going to start spitting out fireballs. Oh, wait. That's Mario. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what I don't understand is why, is why is this whole family just fairy type? Why are they not fairy grass type? Just saying. Because the flower's not actually part of their freaking body. No, they are foul. They are flowers. It's the single bloom Pokemon or the garden Pokemon. Like, it should be a grass type. Fight me. <laughs> I got uh, cut in my corner. I mean, <laughs> come on. <laughs> He's going to uh, give you I'll, a I'll, Chicago beatdown. Uh, Floet is a combination of flower and florette. Uh, right. What? I said, all right. All right. All right. Uh, <laughs> Floet uses a shiny stone to evolve into a Flabebe. Uh, I haven't evolved 
any, I mean, it just barely came out, so I'm not even sure if I have enough candies yet. But I haven't evolved yet, so I don't think it requires a stone in Pokemon Go. I think it's just the 100 candies and the um, the 20 hearts, right? Isn't that what it said in the doodad? Yes. So, yeah. But in the main series games, it does require a shiny stone. So shiny. Uh, Florgis's Pokedex entry says... It claims exquisite flower gardens as its territory, and it obtains power from basking in the energy emitted by flowering plants. So it sucks up their energy and uses flower power to beat you up. (laughs) Florgis is a combination of flora and gorgeous, and actually has the highest base special defense of all fairy type Pokemon. Pretty nice. And, and yeah, Mayor Squish is confirming 100 candies and you have to earn the 20 hearts with it as is your buddy. So, yep, yep. Does not require a stone. Man, I just got done evolving my Eevee into a Sylveon with all the hearts. I guess I better spend more time getting hearts for my buddies. Uh, why didn't you uh no do the naming i should have i didn't i was like how long will this take well since i am uh, very negligent of my buddy forever what are you <laughs> a gooey gumi uh yeah no gumi's my my buddy i need the candy give me the candy but yes that is fla baby Yay. All right. Moving on. <laughs> Email us. <laughs> oh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. I probably wouldn't it's, it's it. fine. It's okay. It's fine. It, it, yeah, it, I, honestly, you can't you can't raise the raise the red flag in front of the bull. You know, when Squish was like, Don't you dare. I was like, I wasn't gonna trash this flower. Now it's very, very difficult for me to resist the urge because you're like covered it in bacon and beer. And, and <laughs> what am I supposed to do and not eat it? Come on. You know, so uh, uh, actually, you know, you know what I've always said. I like cool new things. I like that we can have new shadows in the game. Um, it'll probably take me forever to evolve it because uh, I'll make it my buddy and then neglect it, just like you were talking about there. Uh, but overall, it's okay. Now we also have two Valentine's events going on, where basically you just catch um, I, the, the Valentine's Pokemon that are out there. I, I will say this though: the the theme this go around instead of just being Hey, let's put out all the pink Pokemon. I mean, there's still a fair amount of pink Pokemon. Let's let's be real. But they they went with pairs of Pokemon, which I, I think is a little refreshing over the last few years where it's just pink. Yes, pink. Yeah. All right, what's your, your game name? In Pokemon Go? There it is. I found you. Aired, A-Y-R-D. It took me a second. Oh, welcome to Odalawa with a big tire. That's if they <laughs> send me a stupid postcard from the opening of 7 Eleven in this game, <laughs> I'm going to lose my crap on the show. <laughs> and actually, all honesty, you need to let me know when they do the grand opening so I can drive up there and you and I go and get some, some slurpees together. Uh, that, that will happen. Uh, but I am sending you a gift right now. Uh, it's not a church, but it does have a it does have a very special sticker coming your way on that. Uh, there it is. So there you go, buddy. I got your favorite sticker for you. So <laughs> uh, he's opening it now. Now he's sending me a gift or whatever. Yep. Um, so all right, uh, that's everything for tonight. Email us show at PokemonGoPodcast dot com. Uh, we will definitely read them as we can. Uh, Pokemon Go Podcast uh, is, dot com is where you can find the speak pipe and leave your voice message. It's really easy to do. Uh, I suggest setting a random timer. I'd love to hear from everybody all over the world because uh, it's free, right? As long as you have internet, you, you're just on your local internet. You can use your phone. You can use your tablet, PC, computer, whatever. You know, um, it's just using whatever Wi-Fi you're on and go to Pokemon Go Podcast dot com. Click that speak pipe whenever your timer goes off and just let us know what you're doing in the day or what you love about Pokemon or, or, you know, the show or what you hate or, I don't know, just something. 
I'm not going to suggest you slurp in my ear anymore because, you know, <laughs> up in, in points, but, you know, that's that. Reddit is reddit.com slash r slash Pokemon Go podcast. Twitter is twitter.com slash Pokemon Go podcast. Where you no, can it fi- isn't. <laughs> it's Pokemon Go pod on Twitter. <laughs> I meant to say twit. I got ahead of myself. I was actually, I did get ahead of myself. You're right. It's Pokemon Pod on Twitter. I flipped over and went ahead and pulled up my list. Twitch. So Twitch is twitch.tv slash Pokemon Go podcast, where you can catch awesome Coach Kev 413 on Twitter as well. Dooley Productions, Graf Mao, Caxips 06, Lil Tough, Lily Tough. That sounds like a Pokemon right there. Little Tough. I'd catch Lil Tough. Uh, Mayor Squish, which can be found uh, probably in a bunch of places, but one of them for sure is twitch.tv slash uh, doodle crew. Oh, plain face is back. Schwarm668 is here. Sir Relu, civilian on base. Squishy Twitchy made it. Back. <laughs> so happy. Did, did you see Thunder, Thunder Muffin's uh, first thing that they posted in chat when they got here? Yes, you're welcome. Yeah, you're welcome, because uh, at the time we were talking about how the 7-Eleven was getting under construction here. So clearly OC, clearly CEO uh, Thunder Muffin said, hey, yeah. start that project now. I heard my boys. Get it done. You know what, though? Thunder Muffin says, you got that done. I need you to pull another string for me. All right? There's a gas station being built two minutes from my house. It's a quick trip. I've got nothing against quick trip. I'm in Georgia. I'm going to go to a quick trip if I have a choice because it's one of the better uh, gas stations and, and whatever convenience stores in Georgia. However, if you could change that to a 7-Eleven, you'd be my <laughs> hero forever. Make it so. <laughs> Next week, hear Joe sing this song. Slurpee! Take me to Slurpee. No! No! <laughs>